the permission of my father. Somebody actually gave me this book. After I did a whole thing, one time I did it upstairs in my class. I did on the Merkava. I'm just going to explain over here a little bit of what do we do when we go ahead and we do a various with our body, with our, when we do a sin chas I just want to explain to you how this works. I actually did this version in Hebrew. So Ephraim Latanov came up to me, he says, Hebrew is nice, but if you do it in English, it's even much better only because people can understand what's going on. And over here, Rabotai, he brought me the sitter just this morning, he brought it. Guys, don't start becoming Kabbalists right now. You guys have to, I just want to just show you something, how this thing works. You guys can get it, you guys can purchase if you want. Yeah. Rabotai, just, I want to show you over here. It's called the, the Merkava Meditation. Every Jew needs to understand that each and every one of us has the capability of allowing the, the Shekhinah, the Divine presence, presence, to lie on us, to lie down, to rest on us. And how do we do it, Rabotai? If we look inside, I know you guys cannot see it from there, far from our way. But you have over here different names. I'm going to try to go through every, I'm not going to go through the names, but I want to show you, Rabotai, that on every part of our body, we have Hashem's name on it. That means if that part of the body we do an error with, a sin with, that means we blemish that part of Hashem's name, Chas Shalom. So he says over here, the first one he brings down is Keter, which is the head basically. Then he says the right part of the brain, which is Chochmah, has a different for a different letter of, uh, name of Hashem, with different Kudot. The left brain, which is Bina, which understanding has different letters. Then you have the Dat el the upper knowledge, which has different uh, names of Hashem. Then you have the right ear. Then you have the left ear. Then you have the right eye. Then you have the left eye. Rabotai. All these things are names of Hashem. Then you have the nose. The name of Hashem, which is Gematir Chaim, which is life. Then you have the name of the right nostril, the left nostril. The outside of the nose, the Mouth, Rabotai. The inside, the outside of the mouth. Then you have the right arm, which is chesed. The left arm, which is givur, which is strength, din. Then you have the torso, which is the teferit. You have the right leg, which is netzach. Left leg, which is hod. As you guys can see over here, you have different Hashem's name. The breed is the yusod. That's why it's very important for a guy to not chas shalom, touch down necessarily, Rabotai. Only if he has to go to the bathroom, only the crown is allowed to touch. Then you have the regal, the right regal, the right leg, and then you have the left leg, etc. Rabotai. We need to pay attention. All these things, it's a whole thing, Rabotai, that if a person is able to do it one time a week, just to meditate, Rabotai, on these names, of course, if you, it's better to go to the mikro always, if you were with your wife especially, before you start meditating on these names. But we need to understand that every single part of our organ has Hashem's name on it, like I just showed you over here. That means that in our right part of the brain, left part of the brain, if Chas Shalom, I see something improper, with this eye, I blemish this name of Hashem. With this eye, I blemish this name of Hashem. If I say something improper, if I speak Lashonara, I speak Nevil Peh, I blemish a different part of Hashem's name. The ear, the nose, Rabotai, our hands, our feet, our breath, the circumcision. Everything about the, our legs when we move. That means every single Jew has the capability of becoming a Merkava, a chariot for Kaddish Baruch Hu. That's why it's very, very important about the, to stay away from Averos. And not to do them. It's not worth it. If you could try to give yourself a, 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 a Mashal, you know they have this Kisya uh, Shal when they do the Brit Milo, the Sandai, the big chairs. Imagine the father goes ahead and he sits down on the chairs, comes one son with a hammer and he breaks the bottom leg. Another, another one comes and he breaks the left arm. And this one comes in the right arm. What is the wish? What is the father going to be sitting on? Rabotai, nothing. He's not going to be able to rest on nothing normal. That's what we need to know, Rabotai, when it comes to our head, to our brain. <clears throat> you always want to try to keep it tahor. This is why it's very dangerous. I'm not speaking about looking at a modest woman, which is as true. There's nothing more to speak about. This is why it's very dangerous to even watch sports. To even read news, to even watch movies, Chas Shalom, Rabotai. All these things, you're blemishing Hashem's name. You think you do nothing by looking and watching at the news. But you do not know that the tumor, how much it does damage and it affects you, Rabotai. You ever pay attention after you do something wrong? 
You don't feel good for weeks. You feel out. You feel depressed. Why? Because at the time, once you blemish one of Hashem's names, unfortunately, you do not have that light that's able to give you light at that moment. That's what about time we need to be very careful to stay away from sin and to try to do mitzvot. Now, if you guys pay close attention over here, the right, the right arm represents chesed, kindness. The left arm represents givura. That's why they say a lot of gedolim, they try not to use their left hand, especially during the days from Elo to the days of Yom Kippur, which we just passed. Rabotai, they try not to use the left arm. Why? The left arm represents judgment. It doesn't represent mercy, chesed. The right arm represents chesed. That's what the halacha says in the Shulchan Aruch, that when you wake up in the morning and you wash your hands, how do you wash your hands? You don't take it with the left hand. You don't fill up the cup with the left hand. You fill it up with the right hand. Why? Because you want to be able to give over the chesed to, over the din. You want to have judgment, uh, kindness over judgment. Rabotai, but the Ben even goes so far. He says, when you're giving this hand back, not halacha, when you're giving it back, don't give it directly. Because you never want to have judgment over chesed. What do you do? You put it down. And you take it with your right hand again. You guys with me? And then you spill on the right. And then again you take it and then like this. And you do like that every single day in the morning. Rabotai. The reason being is you always want that the right hand should have control over the left hand. No matter what you do, everything you should start with the right. That's when a person wakes up in the morning with the right. You ever heard the, the, you ever heard the, the saying? You, from which side of the bed you fell from the left or the right? Yeah. This is it. Because in the if you get up with your right foot, you're going to be able to start your day right. You're going to, Hashem is going to be able to give you chesed. You start with your left foot, then that's how your whole day is going to be. That's what they say. When the, that's what Chazal tells them. Masechet Yom, when the Kohanim, they would go up on the Mizbeach. If you don't know, whenever you're lost, you don't know where to go, where, where do you turn? Always right. Because that's what they made. They always made the first thing right. Right. About that. Everything has to be root right. Now, if you pay close attention, I don't think you guys ever paid attention to this. Rabbi Saban brings something very fascinating. He says, look at Hashem created the world. He says, if you pay attention, men, we have our suits and we have our shirts. Pants, anything you took a, a look at a man, we have the chesed and you have the din, the side. Which overpowers the way? Look, watch this. <coughs> Judge, a lot of people, they like to daven like this. It's a very big problem. You shouldn't be davening like this, Rabotai. Because now you have judgment over kindness, which is very bad. If you pay attention to Chabad, they dress like, they put the button like this. Like this. I don't know if you've ever, ever seen it. Like that. So the chesed, Artur, you always want chesed. You want kindness, but always kindness in your life. Pay attention to our shirts, same thing. Judgment over chesed. That's why when you daven, you want to daven right over left. Same concept. But if you pay attention to the woman, very fascinating. How Hashem, made, how Hashem made the woman very different than the men. Since the women are all din, they're all judgment, Hashem had to make their clothing. People don't even realize, just the opposite. When a woman wears a suit, she doesn't wear like this. Everything is like this. To neutralize her, because they're very, what? Nobody, yeah? they're tough. There's nobody, not one guy that was able to defeat a woman. That's why Hashem said, that's why a woman needs to cover her hair. Why? Because hair is all judgment. If a woman Hashem, doesn't cover her hair, all the judgment that there is, she brings on her husband and her family. For what does she need it? For, I'm not talking about right now to being modest and she has to be tznua. I'm talking about right now, the regular Peshat Rabotai, why she has to cover her hair is because she's not allowed to. When she doesn't, she has some in a way brings curse upon her. And that's what the Zohar says. She brings curse upon the husband and she takes away his parnasa and her children are going to go in the derech. That's what Rabotai is very, very important that whenever we do something, we do it with the right. And you know something? I tell you, I just started learning this. Uh, with Rabbi Saban, Shlita, only half an hour a day from 5 to 5.30, B'le'en Har, Baruch Hashem, very, very big, very big Tamil Chacham, I started learning with him, Markevet Paro, from Rabbi Meir Yahu Shlita, I was trying to do it, but it's very hard because there's a lot of Kabbalah which I never even touched, so Rabbi Saban, we started doing this over there, and he says, a lot of times we don't understand, when the Allah says something to do a certain way, what do we do? No Rabbi, maybe like this, maybe like this, maybe. You, you could do whichever, you could you, you, why do you have to come? You want to do whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. But you do not realize that all this has effect in the upper world, on your neshama, on Hashem's name. Every little time, when they t when, whenever they tell you halakha, <coughs> you wake up in the morning, Why do you start with Modani? 
Why don't you wake up in the morning and look at your, I don't know, Instagram, TikTok, why not? Rabotai, the first thing, once you open your eyes, the first person you want to say, you want to start words of Kiddushah, start words of holiness. This is why Rabotai, whenever there's a halakha, if you don't understand it, it doesn't mean that the Torah is wrong, Chas The problem is you. Try to go and learn it, try to go deeper in it, you'll understand, but never Chas V'Shalom, Rabotai, question the Torah. Baruch Adon Al-Olam. Amen, amen. Rabbi Khanan, Ben Akash, Amen, Ratzakash, Baruch Hu. Lezakot, Etzer, Lefikha, Hirba, Lahem, Torah, Umsoshin, Marat.